Hi everybody, uh, today we're going to have a look at the lighting inside the California. Um, so we've touched on this before, we've done a few videos and shown you it before, but uh, today we're going to focus it on what lights come on, what go off when you open closed doors, how to set them as well, because there's been a few questions and a few queries over it. Uh, one of our subscribers uh, who's bought a vehicle from us has been dying for me to do this video for a while, uh, while I try and get my head around it myself so I can give you the information as well. So, uh, so today for the main reason we've got the coast behind me, uh, so we're going to use that one and then we'll nip inside to the ocean uh, just to show the differences with the actual roof uh, lights which is in there with the concept concept lighting within the uh, within the roof mechanism itself uh, they only come into play because they're, they're operating manually uh, from there as well so uh, let's get into it let's have a look at the vehicle start with Uh, so this all drives from, from how you want your vehicle to light up when you open your vehicle. So you unlock your vehicle, uh, as I've done now that's in here, open your door, whether that be your camping door, uh, your driver's door that's in here, and obviously your lights on the inside of the vehicle come on. So uh, these lights here I've got to set on and the lights that have come on uh, from there to come on. So basically it's fully illuminated with inside the actual vehicle itself. Uh, now obviously you can have it so that that doesn't happen uh, if you want it to, so it's just your front uh, that comes in, but it depends on your particular circumstances to what you're using the vehicle for. So if you were camping, for example, you probably want all your lights to come on when you open the door. So, you know, at night you get back to your, uh, your camper van, for example, you open your door, all your lights come on, you can see what you're doing. Uh, but then during the week, you might just want it on your front. Uh, and those are the things we're going to have a look at today uh, and show you how those different ones actually operate. So I just thought I'll show you what to expect when you first come to your vehicle. So you unlock your vehicle, open your door from in there, and then you would expect to see your lights up here to come on and all your lights in the back section that's there as well. But as soon as we put our key in, start the vehicle and obviously shut the doors, all of those lights have now gone off inside because it's now in the, in the driving mode because we're going to drive away for example so you'd have no lights inside. Obviously as soon as you open the door uh, your lights all come back on again and illuminate yourself uh, as you're driving along from in there as well. So first off let's talk about when the vehicle's been used in its car mode. Let's ju just talk. So that's your everyday driving when you're driving around when you're not actually camping uh, or using it on a campsite or wherever the case may be. And your lighting control then, uh, your car side of it is all operated via uh, the dash panel on here. So we've got two lights either side which are reading lights which are these two in here uh, and then we've got two other buttons. So with the two other buttons here relate to the uh, interior lights coming on and then the other one is to do with the rear lights that's on the vehicle so that you can turn the rear lights on and off uh, from this function that's on here as well uh, as you're driving along uh, and we'll demonstrate that to you now. So we've got the engine running, we'll pretend that we're driving around from here uh, and you want to put the lights on in the rear while you're driving around so the people for example in the rear need a bit of light for some reason and that's where you push, push your rear light bulb here and then on that uh, you then get your four lights in the back to come on and to turn that off while you're driving you just press the button again uh, and that goes off then. And when it's pressed in it's off so if you want the rear lights to come on while you're driving press that button and the rear lights in the back are now illuminated press it again put it up and those lights go off uh, so the, that button is for when you're driving around and then your other switch that's on here is to do with these lights here which is when you're opening and closing your door. So for example, if I just turn the vehicle off for a minute, uh, so it's on here, um, so if I put that on now, those lights are on, and if I lock the vehicle, all the lights go off, unlock it, all the lights come back on again, including these lights on here as well. So why might you want to turn that off? Well, if you're camping, for example, you might want that turned to the off position, so that when you do open your vehicle, you won't be coming in from these side doors, you'll be coming in through your, your main door, from your side door. Uh, so obviously then you've got your normal camping lights which come on anyway. Uh, so my advice basically is, is that when you're 
um, when you're not using it as a uh, as a vehicle during the week, for example, like that, and you don't want that light to come on, uh, leave that on the off position so these lights won't come on at all uh, on that basis, and then you're fine. Just one thing just to watch out for as well is if you can't turn off your rear lights in the cabin, uh, so for example, these ones on here, so obviously you press it, it comes on, comes off again. If you've got your rear pressed, that's on there, for example, and you're driving along, but these buttons won't do anything. Uh, so just bear that in mind if you're wondering why, for example, you can't turn your lights off, you, it, because you've got your key in the ignition and that button's pressed. So by pressing that button back in again and turning it off, obviously those lights go on, but then you can then manually turn them back on again if you wish to. So it's just a little quirk of the system, and it, basically that's distinguishing the vehicle between uh, what I would class as driving mode and camping mode. If you think about it from those two different variations that's on there, and the difference being is have you got the key in the ignition or not, and that's kind of where the, um, where the differences come between what doesn't work and what overrides what. Uh, now the light in your boot here only comes on when you open the tailgate, and obviously you can manually turn this one on and off. So the light that's in your boot here, this one, is purely activated from closing and opening this this tailgate down so as soon as you shut the tailgate that light will go off open it off open it over if you want to check it <laughs> put that up there you can just see through the gap uh, and see that it's going off and coming back on again just a couple of the lights as well to mention actually in the cabin a bit difficult to see them today um, but obviously you've got your California light here your step light and then you've also got two little lights one here which you can just see the lightness under there and one under the other side is there uh, and that's obviously just to brighten up this side of it here. We'll show you better with the one that's in the showroom because it's a little bit darker in there, you'll be able to see it a little bit better. So the lights in the back are all manual as well, so you can just turn them off by pressing the buttons that's on individual ones. They can also be operated through the control panel, so you flip over to light, it's in there. You can switch off the living area light just by pressing the button and everything in the interior lighting will go off. Um, you've also got lighting area operation and you can turn them on individually just by pressing on the dash and increase and decrease the brightness it's on there if you can catch that there we go increasing and decreasing the brightness and you can also press and hold the button on that individual light and that will do the same thing again pushing it up and down uh, between there as well and then finally the other one is sunrise uh, in sunrises you can obviously set it so for example in the morning your lights will gradually come on then uh, to a full brightness one as well and then obviously the last one that's in there is camping mode. And so in camping mode, uh, we've got activate camping mode. So to turn camping mode on and off, you just press the button there and then turn it back off again. So on is highlighted, off is not highlighted. Uh, as soon as you put the key in the ignition and turn the vehicle over, it deactivates it anyway, for obvious reasons, because you're, uh, you're driving along. Uh, and then you've got ticks for all of these that's in here as well. So uh, outside light is referring to your headlights on the vehicle. So you know as normally when you, you're not in camping mode is you, uh, you press your button, your lights flash, for example, on the front, your indicators and stuff like that. Uh, so in camping mode, when it's not ticked, that won't happen, which is perfect because that's exactly what you don't want to happen on a campsite, isn't it? If you imagine at night and you're coming back to your vehicle and you press unlock and your headlights flash and it's, you know, making a bit of, <laughs> a bit of light pollution uh, across your campsite. So um, you don't want that one ticked. And then your driver's light, uh, which is referring to these ones here. So obviously you, you, when you're driving, when you get in and out of your vehicle normally, you want these to come on, which is why that button's depressed there. Um, if you wanted them to continue to come on when you open and close the doors, you'd need to tick the box there, which will also put the outside light on as well. So my advice is to leave those off in camping mode. When, you, when you're camping, you'll have the chair swivel around the other way, so you might not want, for example, light in here. Uh, so my advice is to leave those two unticked. Uh, I don't really think you need any light in here, you've got plenty of light in the rest of the vehicle anyway uh, that's here. And then obviously living area, um, so if you click on the living area, that is the living side of it. So if you open the door uh, on the vehicle, so you lock and unlock the vehicle, if I can get the handle from here, uh, obviously your lights would all come on. Uh, you shut your door again uh, and your lights go off on that basis. So it's only when uh, opening and closing uh, the vehicle. I think that's quite good if you're coming back to a vehicle at night, for example, that you want it. So you open your vehicle doors, all the lights come on, etc. It's in there, gets you a chance to get in. Uh, obviously, as soon as you shut them, it's shut again. And then obviously you can just turn on individual lights as you need them. But at least for the, for the moment when you open it, you've got some lights that's in the cabin. Obviously, during the day, you probably don't want that tick during the day. 
because uh, you probably there's no need for your lights to come on every time you open and close your doors. Um, so it's obviously you just go in and change it as and as and when you uh, when you need it, depending on whether it's daytime, nighttime, etc. That's on there as well. So we're now in the ocean. Uh, so obviously the difference is on here is standard is you've got your camping concept lighting. So on here you just press it and it comes up on there, on and off, and on the other side, on and off and you can press and hold it to make it go brighter. Uh, that's up in this particular area in here. And <clears throat> obviously those lights as well can be controlled by the main display panel. We'll show you that in a minute as well. So as you can see on the ocean model, there's a lot more lighting because you've got your roof ones as well. that's in there, which you can turn on and off. And then the only other additional lights you've got in the ocean are your strips around your cabinets as well, which we've got the button on the side for on here, which is part of here. That's on there, so that comes on and off. And again, that is part of the opening and closing the doors, whether you're on camping mode or not in camping mode. So just to recap, as I was explaining before, the way to think about it is, is the vehicle's got two different lighting setups. So we've got the camping lighting setup, camping mode, and we've got the driving mode side of it, uh, which the driving mode being operated via the console that's in here, so you can turn your lights on and off as you're driving along. And then obviously camping mode, which is when you're setting up uh, as you go along from on there as well. Uh, and those are your two different variations of it, and obviously you can have the lights to come on, come off when you open and close the doors. If you find you've got random lights on, uh, the way I tend to do it is I just tend to turn everything off manually so I know that everything is completely turned off. Check my control panel, make sure that's saying everything's turned off and then just start again uh, and putting on the particular lights of which you want to. Well I hope that's given you a better understanding of how the internal lights work in the California, whether it be the coast behind me uh, or the ocean in the showroom, they both work in the same way, uh, no differences on there as well. If you've got any questions, queries about that, pop in the comments box below as always uh, and then we can answer that in the next Q&A session or if it needs a bit more in-detailed look we can have another look and do another video uh, similar to this as well. So if you've enjoyed today's video, please give us a thumbs up, give us a like. Uh, if you don't subscribe already, please subscribe and we'll see you next time.